Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Transformers issue 6. Okay, so this is Transformers issue 6. This is the last issue of this story arc. Um, perfect for trade paperbacks as standard nowadays. Um, so, nice cover, as usual. Uh, okay, so we start up here with Devastator, who appeared at the end of the last issue. Um, he's managed to cut Ratchet's leg off. Um, the uh, Spike's friend and, and Will, uh, Will Jump, Will Jack, Cliff Jumper, go in the back uh, of the uh, Devastator and see what's going on there. Prime skips <laughs> doing some more wrestling moves, puts the big boot in, and uh, to Star Scream. And then, um, Devastated basically seems to be completely mindless, swinging stuff around, grabs all the Prime, swings around, smashes, Dev uh, smashes Starscream, really messes up um, Prime as he's kind of dragged inside the, the arc by RC and everybody else. Ratchet, <laughs> Ratchet again takes a beating. He's lost one, one leg already, his second leg is grabbed off, and they basically say shut the door on it and to cut his other leg off, and he's got one leg. So the Ratchet now has no legs. Starscream meets up with uh, Cliff Jumper. And there's a bit of an exchange there, while Prime basically says that he's dying. Prime is about to die. Uh, the, the uh, amount of damage he's taken is too much. And he basically releases the Matrix, his creation spark, and pops on the ground. And in a rather cool moment of self-sacrifice, um, Spike's dad walks inside the Matrix and disappears, apparently recharging it and allowing to Prime to function again. Um, which I think is really cool. We've never seen that happen before, so that's cool. Um... And he seems, I don't know if he's extra regenerated or whatever, but anyway, he grabs all the Devastator's finger and completely rips it off. And then goes in there, takes a couple of shots at him. <laughs> a double-legged uh, double uh, kick into the head and it sends him sky, uh, skyrocketing through. While Starscream is being dealt with by um, Lashley shoots him in the face. And then basically, Cliff, Cliff Jumper gets a chance to just heals Starscream and decides he doesn't want to do so, even though he's killed all his clan and all this kind of stuff. So Starscream manages to catch the uh, glass, stand outside. So I always wondered how Prime would fire the uh, the Megatron's cannon on, on the back of the truck, and there it is on the back of that. So outside Prime and Devastator still fighting, and he manages to direct, get up to the top of this thing, and uh, top of this rock precipice, and Prime yeets this guy over the top of the rock precipice, as this is going on outside, and there's a rather cool two-page spread of Devastator literally crushing <laughs> Starscream. Well, we, uh, Cliff Jumper and the the girl are, are safely pushed aside, which I think is just amazing. Um, so Starscream's uh, Starscream, yeah, Starscream's not very happy, but he's not dead. Um, he's taken off by Devastator. Devastator is not even dead either, so that's quite cool. And that is a huge vehicle, but that's okay. Um, Prime tries to appeal to Soundwave to basically stop the war and doesn't want to do so because of the death of uh, Ravage and others and off they go. The end. Um, Spike eventually wakes up, asks where his dad is and obviously his dad's dead. So this is it. That's the end of that arc. That's fine. Uh, another cool another cool issue. Next issue, apparently we have a new rise artist in this one, which is uh, what's the George Corona, which I don't know his work, so I, I don't know how similar it is to this stuff as well. And we've got we've got a Daniel Warren Johnson cover, and it's Danny, written by Daniel Warren Johnson, so I suppose it should be as good right in writing, if not the um, the artwork. But I can't see it being that bad. I, don't know if that's a, I wonder if that's a George, Daniel Warren Johnson cover. Anyway. Um, but yeah, that's apparently a Cybertron based arc, so it kind of I quite like that when they do that when they when they stop arcs kind of like at convenient places, that's fine. It's when they do three issues and it's still the same story and then they change arcs. That's always annoys me. I used to do like the bat when you do Batman, you do the three issue arcs of storylines and they change arcs every time, that's fine. So, but yeah, again, another great issue with Transformers. I mean, it's, it's uh, as cool as it ever has been. So, um, hopefully, fingers crossed for issue seven. And the uh, the rest of the Enjoy books as they come out will, will be equally as good. I'm I'm really like want to see what happens with Void Rivals and see how this is going to tie in because I think we're going to have to see some more connections with uh, Transformers form up and say hopefully that'll be the space end of things. Maybe that'll tie into the Cybertron story. We don't know, but anyway, good stuff. And uh, hopefully, if you're reading this, you enjoyed it as well. So with that, pretty much is what I'm say. So I will say thank you very much and bye bye.